Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing, quote unquote, splitting a condo in Thailand. I will often get some correspondence or just talk to friends of mine who will ask me about this. And they basically, a lot of guys in the offshore industry ask me about this. They say, look, I own a condo or I'm looking to, I'm looking to, we're possibly looking to buy a condo or rent a condo and we're going to split it. What are we talking about here? We're often talking about two friends, usually guys, who basically spend, you know, they go off and on between Thailand and somewhere else. They work somewhere else and they come here for a few weeks and then they go somewhere else. And basically they figured out a way to sort of sync up their schedules or they buy a condo that's big enough where they're effectively roommates, but they're not always around each other. So it's, it's kind of like timeshare in, in a way. It's, it's like a very kind of, in, like kind of, uh, very low level kind of timeshare where it's just between two people. They're kind of agreeing, okay, I'm gonna be here during this period and you're gonna be here during this period. I've seen it work, I've seen it blow up, I've seen people have real problems with that. When it comes to underlying property title and for those who are unaware, yes, it is possible to own a condo 100% in Thailand pursuant to the provisions of the Thai Condominium Act. Yes, it is possible for a foreigner to have freehold title. It may be possible for two foreign nationals to have their name on the title deed. It's been my experience that's pretty rare, but it, it's out there. It, it could be possible. Again, circumstantially dependent, but possible. And again, this whole sharing thing, it, it really comes down to the relationship between the parties who will be splitting that condo. That's what it, at the end of the day, comes down to. So. You know, yeah, I, again, I've seen it work out very well, but as a practical matter, I've also seen it become a major problem. So as with anything, like picking a roommate, for example, it's probably something to sit down and give a long, hard think about because long term, there could be ramifications to a relationship like that with sort of unforeseen issues down the road. 